place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey friends, even though it is super hot out today, we are at Animal Kingdom to check out all the nifty Christmas stuff coming out. Disney invited us out today so that we can get a look at some of the cool offerings they have for this Christmas season. And let me tell you, they have a lot. I'm so excited. Let's go do this. Can we just talk about the big bear in the room? Look at this. Wow, fantastic. How fun. I love it. And from 9.30 till 5, they have these amazing puppets out here. We have foxes, birds, bears, little bears, big bears, violin players. It's so cool. They do go in at 5 o'clock though, so just to be warned, if you want to see the, the uh, puppets, you have to come here a little bit early. There is literally Christmas in almost every section of Animal Kingdom. Discovery Island, Asia, Africa, even Pandora. And we're going to try to do a good roundabout and just see what it's like. Now, I'm sure it's a lot better at night and uh, you can actually see all the pretty lights and everything like that. But we're going to see it during the day and then definitely do a night vlog eventually. Oh, the bird show is about to start. They even stepped up the decor or the decorations. Look at all these nifty things. I like those little squirrels. Look at the little squirrels with the nuts in their hands. Oh, and look who's coming back out to say hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Wow, oh wow. My favorite. Oh, nope. Wow, my new favorite. Look at the little penguin. Look at him. <laughs> Oh, my buddy's back again. Whoa! <laughs> Another fun thing is that Doug and Russell actually have a little Christmas decor in their Wilderness Explorers Clubhouse. Look, they got Christmas trees and pretty lights. I love it. Anything that's gonna have Christmas to do with it, I'm gonna say I love it. I'm just gonna love it. I just love it. I'm gonna head over the bridge from Discovery Island to Dino Land because Dino Land is decked out. Decked out in Christmas, look at that dinosaur. It's got a beard and a Santa hat. It's a Santasaurus. A Santasaurus. I think that is my favorite word I've ever made. A Santasaurus. That is awesome. I love it. As you can see, there's red lights actually on the Santasaurus. And at night, it changes colors and goes along to the music. That's going to be something really awesome to check out. Scrooge is actually in the Christmas spirit this year. Look at that. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at launch pads actually meet and greet. Wow. He's not out right now, so I'm going to just take a peek inside and uh, see what he's got going on here. Oh, look at He's got some presents. One of them's to Scrooge. The other one's from Scrooge. Look at that, Scrooge is giving out presents. And his tree actually has a whole bunch of paper planes and regular planes made out of parks maps. That's pretty cool. Speaking of launch pad, there he is with that nice nifty scarf. Thank you. <laughs> 
look at Daisy's little meet up here. So pretty. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's fantastic. Chippendale are decked out too. And this is their little meetup area. This is festive. Wow. Look at this. It's a reindeerosaurus. Maybe somebody already came up with the Santasaurus. <gasps> How about this rake tree? That's so creative. Wow. Look at Donald's little area over here. Very festive. I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot. Not sure how to describe Christmas. You know, you could say it's very festive, very holiday-ish, very Christmassy. I don't know. Oh it's a tough one. You could just be like, it's starting to look like Christmas. It's Christmas. But we're gonna move on from this extinct area and head on over to Asia and see what Christmassy things they got there. I also thought it was very appropriate for me to grab a Bud Light because my shirt says Merry Beermas. Thanks to the Holland family for giving me this shirt. I don't see much actually happening over here near Expedition Everest, but can you imagine if they put a gigantic Santa hat on a Yeti? He would be called Yeti Claus. Yeti Claus. Honestly though, unless you go hunting for Christmas stuff in Asia, nothing really popped out to me. I mean, I, I just felt like it was just regular area. Dino Land blew me away. I mean, Dino Land went all out Christmas. I love it over there. But Asia just seemed like Asia. Just looking at these holiday offerings. Candy cane Mickey elf popcorn bucket. Must be that guy, but he looks like a pirate. Wow. And then a Mickey Jingle Bell sipper. Very fancy. And then the song. <gasps> what? Can I, can I jingle? Yeah. I like it a lot. I decided to make a little left from Asia and head into Discovery Island again because I passed up the Adventures Outpost and the Mickey and Minnie meet and greet that they have here has a little Christmas kind of like feel to it. I'm not sure what it is, but we're gonna go in there meet Mickey and Minnie and uh, see what's happening. It might not be Christmas, but Kevin! That's for me, I'm next, okay. I just wanted to show off all of your nifty Christmas attire. Wow, look at that. Is that a mistletoe? Is it? I don't even know what it is. Oh, it is fantastic. And a tie. Wow, I like it a lot, and I love your scarf and your ribbon. Very fancy, very nifty, very fancy, but I liked it. Oh, you like mine too, huh? Ah, oh, yes, I love it. All this up here, very festive. I love the holidays. I definitely will. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. Bye. That was so cute. Mickey had like a mistletoe. I don't even know if that was a mistletoe, but then Minnie gave him a kiss on the cheek. Awesome experience. You gotta check it out if you come to Animal Kingdom during the holidays. I like it a lot. Now, I have to say, I don't know if this is a part of Asia or Africa, but the area right here outside of the up bird show is fantastic and I seen it already at night and it blew my mind but the lanterns and the lights right now a show's getting out so you really can't tell much but what a great place to hang out and just take in the atmosphere now it's time for us to make our way over to Africa and like I said it feels so surreal checking out all this Christmas stuff and like the Sun is so bright it is so hot out actually it's a good experience but at the same time i kind of miss a little bit cold and snow now i don't want a blizzard and i don't want to be stuck in my car or i don't want to be waking up at 4 a.m to dig my car out to go to work so uh i'll take the warm weather with the christmas lights now that right there is a very artistic christmas tree very fancy and i like how they have kind of little Christmas lights hanging above Zawini Traders. Zawini Traders. It's very nice that they add just a little touch to it and it actually looks authentic. I like it a lot. 
my favorite little bar area over here by the Dawa Bar is actually also decorated very festive. And they got nifty wreaths and some other cool garland. I like it. Just look at all that. Pretty nice. In Africa, they're also selling the limited edition popcorn buckets. You see it hanging there, and they have plenty of stock, but there is a gigantic line stretching all the way over the bridge here. A lot of people like those popcorn buckets. Not a lot to do with Christmas, but take a look at that. Beautiful. This is why I love Animal Kingdom. Breathtaking. I'm gonna actually leave Africa now. Much like Asia, there's not much Christmas theming. Only a little bit. I mean, Dino Land so far is well beyond the most Christmas themed area. Then Discovery Island, and then Asia and Africa. But we still have Pandora to check out. And you would think that Pandora would be the less Christmas themed. But we'll see what they got going on over there. And I just noticed that they changed out the Lion King wall for this beautiful, beautiful art. This is fantastic. You see the little fox there and the bears and the penguins. These are all the puppets from the show that's in Discovery Island. And I think that they're gonna tie into the Tree of Life somehow. I think that's really nifty. And anytime I actually go to Pandora and Animal Kingdom, I always come in this way. Even though I was over in Africa, I didn't wanna go in the back way. I always like coming this way because it's prettier, it's nicer. And most of the theming in Pandora would keep to itself and keep to that theming like I would expect. But this guy is feeling a little bit cheery. Look at him. Wow. It's like kind of like Santa Claus, but not. I don't know. It's very strange. I like it though. I like it a lot. So you might be wondering how the people uh, from Pandora, the Navi, actually know what Christmas is. And that's because the expats who actually live and work on Pandora decided to bring a little holiday chair and mix it with some earth elements and also Navi elements. And that's how they came up with this rustic look. And I like it. But one of the worst things that could happen actually happened. Flight of Passage is currently down. So now there's just like a mob of people waiting to see if it opens back up so they can charge and get in there and skip the two hour wait. But this body of people over here is actually waiting for just fast pass and the standby line is actually already queued up and the ride's not even operational yet. But like I said earlier, most of the theming in Pandora is going to stick to Pandora. They just added that little bit of touch of Christmas to that section over there near the Santuli Canteen. And I like it a lot. It is, seems nice and there is a back, you know, story so that it can explain how the Navi know about Christmas. And overall, it's good to see a little bit of Christmas in each land. But as for now, we made our way back out to Discovery Island just so that we can see a little bit more of the lights and a little bit more of the atmosphere with the puppets just roaming about. My first time seeing this little guy. Wow, adorable. Fantastic. Oh, I think you like compliments. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So actually, as it gets a little bit darker out, I wanted to go out to the front of the park and start catching things as they actually start lighting up, like the tree and all the decorations and stuff like that. And we may be able to see one of the new Tree of Life shows that are gonna be going on. Hopefully, that's the plan. So let's just go take a look, see at the front of the park and then make our way back down. First time seeing the Animal Kingdom tree all lit up. Look at that, just sparkling and the perfect sunsets happening right now the lights actually at the turnkey are actually on now too did i just call it a turnkey i don't even know if that's right so i basically only have walked through the entrance and i can already tell you that an animal kingdom christmas is best enjoyed at night not during the day at night oh yeah look at all those lights starting to get very festive. 
Now, I do want to head back over to Asia because I want to see if that's any different at nighttime. Maybe some light sprung up that I didn't see. So hopefully that is true because like I said, Asia and Africa something like they were just kind of like Asia and Africa, the same way they were last year. But maybe it's different, who knows? Oh boy, look how beautiful it is over here, but I hear the announcement that they're going to start the projections on the Tree of Life. So we need to rush back around to the front of the park. The Tree of Life show is pretty amazing and it actually runs continuously, not very long, very short segments uh, from 7 o'clock all the way till park close. So you have plenty of time that you can actually just stop and check it out. And with that, I think I'm done here today. I had a lot of fun. Thank you Disney again for inviting me out and love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.